Hi everybody! Hello guys! And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios! I'm Jeremy. And I am no longer Elf Lee. <laughs> Just plain old Lee. <laughs> well, as you can see, we cannot let go of Christmas yet. Well, it's still the holidays. <laughs> it's still the holidays. It is still the holidays. It is, it is. Our tree is up. We're not going to take it down probably until... Uh -uh. The ending of the first week of uh, 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 July. No, I mean January. <laughs> um, although I would love to leave it up. It'd be July. all yeah. It'd be up all year round for, as far July. as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so we hope you all joined the twelve pour, enjoyed the twelve pours of Christmas. It yes. was so much fun to put together. But we're now back to regular viewing. We are. Yeah. And we have something special lined up. Yes. So, which I'm really excited about. Tell the lovely people. Yeah. Don't keep them in suspense. I know. So, Rinska, who is an amazing artist, just incredible. If you haven't right. seen her, go and check out her her page, which I don't will be think, linked in the description. I don't think there's anyone that hasn't seen <laughs> Rinska. It's like, you know, that would be like saying, have you ever not heard of Beyonce right. or something, right? <laughs> Rinska's amazing. Right. So, she asks um, if we could use the colors that, that I got in my... Christmas box. Right. It was that turquoise phalo and the azo gold. Um, green gold. Green gold. And uh, because she liked it so much and it was, you know, it was so much fun to use those colors. Mm -hmm. And she asked if we would recreate that. But this time using some... Negative space. Yeah. I think yeah. what Rinska picked up on was the fact that you really loved that turquoise phalo mixed with the iridescent oh, gold so because it creates this beautiful peacock-like mm -hmm. shiny color yeah. and you were you didn't even want to pour on top of the base coat you just wanted a I whole know. canvas full of base coat I know. so she's like try it again jeremy but this time try and leave some negative space yeah which i'm gonna do yeah and i'm gonna use exact oh what kind of pour I'm going to do a ring pour again. Okay, great. Yeah. And I'm going to use exactly the same colors, but I'm going to do a straight pour and try and create something very Sarah Mac inspired, hopefully with some of those big cloudy cells. Yes. And I just saw Kathleen, our East Coast girlfriend, girlfriend do something yeah. that, that was Sarah Mac inspired that was also stunning. Yes. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have a go at a straight pour. And I have to thank also Mina Villegas for sending me those colors in the first place right. because that was amazing so thank you Mina and she also sent me my I call it my Wolverine right. <laughs> wrecker right. so I'll be using that again because I'm going to wreck it right so um so we have that and uh yeah, wow. I think that's... All those people to thank for this episode. I know. There's tons I of know. them. And clearly, we want to thank you guys for watching. Yeah. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. Yeah, if you haven't, please do. Right. It means the world to us. It does. Oh, we're representing the holidays. I didn't even notice. I, I'm Christmas and you're Halloween. Yeah, zombies. <laughs> right? That's so cute. <laughs> um, I'm ready to get painted. I am ready too. Yeah? All right, without further ado, why don't we get started? Let's get to it. Okay guys, it is Jeremy here, and I am ready to show you my colors that I'm using today. Um, it is, they are the Pistachio Pearl Green by Arteza. Love it. They are the Golden's Green Gold by, uh, by Golden's. <laughs> Sorry. That is the Golden's Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. Yes. These are so amazing. Um, this is Golden's Iridescent Gold Deep. And my absolute favorite right now um, is the Turquoise Phalo by Golden's. And it is your absolute favorite because it's completely empty. <laughs> and we've had it for like two weeks and there's I mean, like 16 ounces of paint in it. Orange is my favorite color, but this is like second right, right. now. We definitely need to get some so, more. Where are we gonna go, Jeremy? We need to get more of our, blick, our paints. To Blick. There we are. That's <laughs> yeah. right, because we're Blick affiliates. Right. And if you need paint, you can go in our description box and you can follow that link and you can order your paints through there. Absolutely. Um, and, all right, why don't I go ahead and I'll get start, uh, started laying my colors. I'm going to use the turquoise first. I love the use of the turquoise in not such a huge quantity because you know that's going to be the first, the last thing out of your exactly jug. The green, yellow, green, gold. The Azo Nickel. Now I know you're trying as hard as you can to actually replicate the actual ring because 
you are going to pour these in exactly the same way as you did in the collaboration, right? Yeah. These okay. colors are going in in the same way. Yes. So if anyone wants to try and replicate, then these are the colors in yes. this order. Yes. And then pistachio. I love this color. Now I whipped this one to within an inch of its life because we were, <laughs> I was trying to get every last bit of pistachio out of that bottle. So you will need to torch this. The others have been sitting a little longer. And just so you know, Jeremy, there's a very strong chance that I may actually layer my cup in exactly the same way also. That's awesome. Yeah, but mine's just gonna be a straight pour instead. Gold, and then the pistachio. The pistachio, I think, is what gave me that really almost white. It is. I think you thought it was actually pearl white, but it wasn't. The pistachio dries so light. It does. It just looks like pearl white. It does. Okay, then we go turquoise again. We do actually have the pearl white mixed also. Another golden's color, the iridescent, but you won't be using it this time. Then pistachio. And then you're done, right? Yeah. We mixed just the perfect amount of paint. It's so cool. Lovely. That is your jug. That is my jug. Okay. All right. Oh, Lord. The moment of truth. This one came out really, that pearl. The pistachio. Yeah, that pistachio, that pearl pistachio. Well, you know, don't forget the, the colors will open as you wreck it. Yeah. Now, what's the plan wrecking wise? You know what? Um, I'm going to... You're going to wreck it the same way or you're going to wreck it differently? I think I'm going to wreck it this pretty much the same way, I think. I think I'm just going to do kind of like I'm going to do a straight line this time and then a curve over here. Okay, now for all everyone watching at home, remind everyone that there's different ways to wreck in terms oh of gosh. speed. Oh yeah, yeah. So the speed, if you go really quick, the, uh, the lines are going to be like really like small. Right. Um, but if you go slow, it really mixes the color and it like makes it really yeah. a lot more interesting. To me it does. Okay, and try not to drag the bottom of the cone through the paint. Yeah, which I always... And you're going to take the beautiful turquoise and iridescent gold base coat. Yes. Which we didn't talk about. It was a yes. mix of the turquoise, phalo and the iridescent gold. Yes. And you're going to try and drag that through the course yes. too, right? Okay. Wow. Great. Clean that off. Wrecking. And make sure you clean your, your uh, whatever you're using to wreck your art with. Because you don't want to muddy the colors, You don't right? want to muddy the colors. So make sure that you clean this off before you go wrecking again. I'm going to wreck it. Now, I'm going to do. Same again? Same again, but I'm going to go in a curve. Oh, that's interesting. You actually did show them the two different types of wrecking because that one was a hell of a lot faster yeah. this time. Yeah. So you can see there that in the first ring, you kept all those colors really true. And in the second ring, they kind of just mixed in a little more. Yeah, they did. They totally did. Okay, what time is it, Jeremy? It's tilting time.
Okay guys, so I took a step back and what I'm missing in this is more of the Azo gold, the nickel Azo gold, the orange. Um, I have a lot of this really light kind of wispiness going on here. I love that all of this, all of this I'm not crazy about. So I think I want to do another little pour, like just a tiny one, just to stretch this out mm -hmm. and, and maybe take it down this away and kind of leave this right here. Cause I'm digging kind of like this. This is what I'm digging right here. I'm just not digging this one area. I want to say for the record, I do like that area. I know. I like the cells that you get in here, but I'm excited to see what happens when you pour the second cup because you did exactly yeah. the same thing on the collab and then it was amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna try that again. Do it. All right, guys, I got my little cup here. I have my paint and I'm going to just go ahead and pour some of it right here. Now I'm not gonna pour a lot. A little bit more swirled. Okay, moment of truth. Let's uh, see what happens here when I stretch this bad boy out. This part right here. You know how I can fix that? Pour some more out of your cup. All right, guys, this is so interesting. It's so crazy how you can use the same colors poured in the cup the same way and you get something completely, absolutely different. I'm loving the negative space right here and over here. Um, I don't know, maybe I should take it off right there. Do you?
Okay, I'm done. I think that that's amazing. I, I, I like it a lot more now, especially with this right here. I think it added the right amount of oomph to it. Bit of oomph. A little, a little bit of oomph, a little pizzazz. Um, yeah, and I can't wait to see what this is gonna dry like, honestly. Uh, I really can't wait to see what it's gonna dry like. So, all right guys. Let's clean up the edges. Let's clean up the edges. Take them in for a close up. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Lee. It is my turn to do my pour. You just watched Jeremy do a really beautiful wrecked ring on his phalo turquoise and gold base. Now, I don't intend to keep any negative space in this one, so I've mixed that phalo turquoise and gold with some black, and it's blick black, and that's my base coat here. So using exactly the same colors that Jeremy's got and using the jug, I'm gonna straight pour these ones instead. So, Jeremy, I'm gonna do that right here. Let me get my paints ready. So, yeah, I'm gonna do as you did and I'm gonna pour it down the side of the, of the jug also. So I'm gonna lay these kind of in the same way that you did, I think. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit of turquoise. I'm gonna do some small layers first, just to coat the bottom of the jug and also because I'm guessing you know these are going to come out last just like in a ring so I'm going to do some small layers and then I'm going to get bigger with these layers so that was the nickel azo now in with the straight iridescent and then a little bit of the pistachio I just remember how to take over my life. <laughs> I do remember I always love going second because it basically means I can kind of see then what you did and do, and do the same thing, but maybe do a little different. So now, Go ahead. no, please come. I was gonna say, although I, I did really love my- Oh my God, I loved amazing. yours. I, I love how brave you are and how you are fearless in fixing your paintings by just, you know, throwing in another layer, another ring, another whatever it is it needs. You're extremely confident in that way. I just hope I did Rinska proud. Well, I hope so too. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah, Mina and Kathleen have taught me to be just a little bit more fearless. Than when you started the journey. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, because they just go and, you know, are like... Oh, Kathleen will I'm just gonna... be like, I don't like this. And she'll just pour black over it and, and like swipe over it and do something completely oh, yeah. different. She's so cool that way. I really love how... She does her pause. And Mina is exactly the same. Mina will throw another ring on or do something different. It's so cool. All right, so that is one layered cup. Next, I'm going to just pour a little bit of gold in the center, because that's what I'm gonna pour upon. And then we're gonna take this jug and we're going to straight pour this one onto the canvas. So I'm gonna change the height and that the paint comes out of the jug, but I'm probably not gonna spend any time wringing this one. Let's see what kind of effect we get.
right. So that is the paw on the canvas. Let's see what happens next. First off, I'm going to torch this bad boy. I'm glad you're doing it now because it looks like there's a lot of bubbles. I think so. And there was a lot of the paint folding over itself, onto itself. So it definitely needed to happen. And I think I'll probably have to come back and torch again at the end, but I think that's most of it. All right. All right. It is tilting time. Tilting time. Let's do this. Okay, so that is me done. Um, I torched this one just now. Um, and when we take you in for a close up, what you're gonna see is these kind of two tone cells that I've got. Um, I really love the four rings on the corners. The one thing that I wasn't 100% sure about, and I wish I could like phone a friend and just call you all up and ask you guys what you think. Cause I asked the studio hubby and he agreed with me and then disagreed and then agreed. So we talked about it, <laughs> but it, it was this thick, phalo turquoise line. I, at first when I looked at it, wanted to pour it off. But then as I stood back, if I tried to take this line off, I think I would lose my balance of my four corners. And then on reflection, I think this turquoise line really balances out the, the greener lines that we've got over here of the green gold. So I'm gonna keep it exactly as it is. Um, I wanna hear what you think though in the comments. Tell me if you would have tilted it off or if you like it the way it is. Um, I'm gonna get my edges. I'm gonna torch it one last time, just to make sure I got all the bubbles. And then I'm gonna ask cameraman Jeremy to take you in for a close up. Thank you guys.
Okay guys, so there you have it. This wonderful like rect ring and straight pour. Um, we love these colors, they're so good. Um, <laughs> right. thank, and... thank you Rinska for the comment because it made us do it again. I was just about ready to get I that. know you were. I was just about to tell, tell you thank you Rinska because these, we just love these colors. Um, I, I, how, tell me what it is about wrecking rings that you enjoy so much. Because I love the lines and the, you know, the like fluidity of it. Right. It makes, to me, it makes it very like, it just kind of like motion, motion the right. motion of it. Yeah. Okay. I, I, yeah. I see that. I, and you always get such great results. And, um, do you want to show them the negative there? space on here? Yeah. yeah show them the show. derived results. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see you picking it up. You're getting all excited to show it. I am excited. Let's show you the dried results. Now these are 90% dry. Yes. Go for yes. it. Ooh, I love it. I love that you get some negative space. I know, and it has this great sheen to it. I too. love that you played with the composition using the background color to like to shape the bits you didn't want up here. Yeah. That was really cool. This turned out really awesome, this I like know. addition. I know, I really love it. I that. was a little worried that it was gonna just look like something that had been stuck on the side of the painting, but it didn't at all. Yeah. And it dried so much darker, which I'm so happy about. Because you thought it was all pearl. I did. I thought it was going to be really light. And pistachio. It didn't. It just, yeah, this pistachio. And it didn't. It just came out like really cool. I like it a lot. Gonna, I can't wait to, for you to show them his. His is amazing. I like mine too. So, you know, I was channeling Sarah Mack in this one. And I think this is my best straight pour to date. Um, so this is my straight pour so good it's so good like we said you know a, a good piece is 50 percent good good colors and, and, a, and a great match and i really do really really love these colors that mina chose for you um the whole point of a straight pour for me is these huge big kind of buttery cells these cloudy cells that you get and i love the fact that they came through in that turquoise stripe i know and just I love, up here yeah. Because we were contemplating tilting this off at one point. I know. Um, and I like the fact that I got quite a four rings on the corners, even though this was a straight pour. I, I just love this. This is definitely, definitely one of my favorite pieces. So, yeah. thank you, Rinsko, for this challenge. <laughs> right. It came out so, so incredible. It did. Um, and uh, I hope that you enjoy it and you like it. Right. Yeah. Let us know if you Let do us see know. this. We appreciate Absolutely. you. Um, yeah, no, I really enjoyed this. I did too. So, <sighs> thanks guys for watching. Thanks for joining us on this. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It means the world to us. Um, it keeps us having content like this. Right. Like it gets us so excited. Yeah. Uh, and um, thanks to everybody for like following us, right. like joining us on this journey. It's been a ride. Yeah. Oh my God. And I hope everybody has had an amazing Christmas. Right. And a now happy new year. We're counting down to new year now. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much. We will see you on the next one. See you then. Bye, guys. Bye. Okay, guys. So we wanted to take a moment to thank some very, very special people. And that's the guys that have joined our Patreon account. What that is, if you don't know, is the opportunity to join at different tiered levels to get different perks from the Massey Art Studio. And they go from sneak peek pictures to a level with videos exclusively just for those pourers, yep. to live streams and tutorials, all the way up to the diamond level where you get to choose the colors for an episode that we yep. put on YouTube, and then you get a canvas that we paint for you on the channel on 11 yes. by 14. So with that said, we've got some people that we really want to thank. At the gold level, we've got Jane Klein, Trisha West, Janice Pittman, and Janice Swansea. Mm. At our platinum level, we've got Leslie Beaver. Yay. And our diamond pourer, part of our Massey Posse, our diamond MP, is Laurie, AKA Sparkles. Sparkles. So thank you guys for wanting to take an extra special look at the studio and supporting us. We appreciate you so very much.